Okay, we're now joined in the Infield Media Center by Sunday's uh, Samsung Mobile 500 Coors Light Pole Setter, uh, driver number 14, Office Depot, Old Spice Chevrolet, Tony Stewart. This is um, Tony's first pole uh, in 155 uh, races since dating back to October of 2005 in Martinsville. So Tony starts his 400 Sprint Cup race uh, from the pole. Congratulations. Tell us about the about the lap. Yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty cool. It was, uh, you know, you always worry about conditions here. It seems like the track cools down a lot during the session, and everybody worries about, um, you know, where you draw for your run. So, uh, you know, we, we picked up time from practice, which was good, obviously, uh, but it didn't seem like the, the conditions changed a lot today, which was unusual. So that, that definitely worked in our favor. But, uh just uh, uh, surprised. I mean, I'm not really much of a qualifier, but uh, it shows what uh, Darian Grubb and, and uh, all the guys at Stuart Haas, what they, how hard of work they've, they've been doing, and uh, uh, today's a result of that. We'll jump right into questions. We'll start with Jeff. Jeff Foot of RacingToday.com. Uh, Tony, your first poll in four and a half years means you get pit box number one. How excited are you about that since that's typically a pretty good advantage? I'll probably miss it because I don't, I don't rem normally remember where pit box one normally is. <laughs> we got it last year because uh, we got some rain outs a couple times and I got the first box. But uh, no, it, it's, um, you know, it's no different this week than it is every week. I mean, it's, you always want to be that guy that gets that first pit box. You don't, you don't have to go very far to get to where the timing line is as far as the, the order that you come out of the pits. So uh, uh, that's always a, a little bit of an advantage to be that guy that gets that first box. Kenny. Kenny Bruce, SceneDaily.com. That's sort of what I was going to ask you about was the pit selection. But um, who makes that? Does Darian say this is the one and this is why we want it? Do you have any input into it? Nah, he picks it off of where he wants to sit to watch the race. So uh, he, he'd pick on the back stretch if he could at a lot of places. But um, nah, normally I don't really give him much of a choice by the time he normally gets to pick pits. Uh, two thirds of them are normally picked, so he has to pick what's left. But. Uh, uh, you know, Darian always makes that decision, um, you know, and, and you know, Darian, Darian's got a lot of savvy. I mean, he knows where to pick and why to pick there, and, and uh, you know, there's a lot of thought that goes into to where you're at and who you're around. We'll go. Uh, further questions for Tony? Go to Jim. Jim Shaw Observer. Tony, from your practice session, are you just as excited about how the car feels for the race as it performed in qualifying? Uh, we we fought a little bit too tight balance wise in practice. Uh, didn't quite get it all out before we had to switch over to qualifying trim. But um, you know, we I think we learned a lot today in the little bit of time that we got to run before we had to do that switch over. And uh, you know, I'm I'm confident that you know it, it seems like if you can get it figured out for qualifying, there's something we can take out of this today that that'll help us toward tomorrow. So uh, you know, even if the weather. Uh, gets bad. I feel like that that we can do some things to get it where we need it to be. Anything further for Tony? Tony, congratulations. Thanks. Good luck Sunday.